virtually your ID or the US social security number has everything. Someone doesn't need to go far. Mm -hmm. Now, the challenge for us though is uh, we still need to clean up our system. Because part of the challenge is we have individuals who right today as we speak they have Kenyan passports and Kenyan IDs yes. who actually shouldn't be having them. Mm -hmm. and, and so if we, we can do DNA, of course it's going to be an extensive process. First of all, we need to build capacity yes. to be able to do that. It takes you know, quite a few resources. Now, it's possible. Uh, not all countries have DNA for everybody. In fact, most countries, if only you go through a certain process, can they actually collect DNA from mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, there are certain legal requirements that have to be met for you to do that. Now, while this is a step in the right direction, we really need to work on, first of all, fixing our system that we have right now. Mm -hmm. Because I think we can be able to achieve a lot. We have individuals who are roaming wild. Uh, we have sometimes people who, who are supposed to be serving Kenyans and they're being paid by taxpayers, but who are compromising themselves. And we've talked on this show that corruption is a national security issue. Yes. Now, unless we actually tackle that, you know, chances are we're still going to allow in bad elements, we're still going to entertain bad elements, such that a cracked window screen may allow me, or rather may make uh, a police officer stop me and perhaps keep me for nine hours, but perhaps carrying an AK-47, 500 shillings will not actually, may allow me to pass. And so we really need to address that, because if we don't, it's going to be a challenge no matter what systems we put in place. Mm -hmm.